Phew. Okay. Hello, James. Hello, Michelle. Thank you for hanging in there. That was some good stuff that we we did. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about uh, all of our different aquaphage aims and purposes and and efforts. So it sounds like you have some news. I have some news. Sadly, it is not fantastic news. Uh, I've gotten word back from the grant contact with the FDA, and um, CF San is not interested in our letter of intent. Oh no, pro no problem. We I've, won't uh, we won't win every every uh, step of the way, and yeah. uh, you know they it may not fit in with that particular. Did they give any advice or a redirection at all? Uh, CF San itself did not leave back. It was just the grant contact saying that they weren't interested. But they did offer to take our letter to another, to a different office if we wanted to. And I asked if they'd be willing to talk to the Center of Biological and Ecological Research, which we had discussed before as an alternative if CF San wasn't interested. Yes, that would be good. So yeah, go ahead and respond in the positive. We, yeah. All we can do is do our best with guessing as to which office or which department is best for our efforts, and they will know where to redirect it. So um so yeah, I mean, this I think it's good news to have this sort of interaction and assistance, and and yeah, just take advantage of the the opportunity to uh, to get it to the right office, and we'll keep we'll keep trying. So I think it's good news. Okay, well, I'm glad that you are of that opinion, and that we can continue our uh, work here. Absolutely, yeah, and if it doesn't work out at the um, at the FDA. Um, it seems like it's a good fit. It seems like it, we would fit in, but you know, that's uh, we may not. Then there's there's lots of different other places to to go. Um, uh, IEEE has a lot of stuff going on in this area, um, and something that we might want to consider doing in parallel is to have a meeting with um, with the the appropriate IEEE chapter or society. Uh, and and do a chapter meeting to try to start meeting people and to sp and spread the word. Uh, so when I'm when I'm back from from travel for for DefCon, um, I can I can get a meeting started here in San Diego. I uh, put out a couple of feelers and uh, when we first started moving towards uh, reviving the the bacteriophage work, and it took a while, but I got some some word back, you know, as, as different societies and chapters in IEEE kind of revive, uh, things are, things are happening and waking up. So, uh, good news. So we can have a meeting and a guest speaker and some, some good networking. And what I'll do is I know that we have, um, uh, some, some appropriate societies here in this region. We're region six for, for IEEE. Um, and, I think that Little Rock might have some of the same societies and chapters, so or Arkansas in general, or somewhere close to you. So what I'll do is I'll just take it as an action item because it's easy for me to look it up and to see if there's uh, opportunity for you all to to host a, a local meeting for uh, medical and, and biological people to uh, to meet up and to talk about this and to to get somebody to to maybe present. So. So that's open to us and National Science uh, National Science Foundation um, and lots of, of private foundations that work in, in this area. Uh, and also IPATH here in San Diego wrote, wrote, wrote back again. And they, they were the ones that recommended the particular professor's work. And we should get in touch with that person to do uh, aquaculture related bacteriophage work. And uh, they explained that what they've done is is uh, focused on on human centric, so so working with people at yeah. IPATH, um, and that they're they they're starting back up themselves and just didn't have the bandwidth to also add uh, fish farming or aquaculture or anything like that. But we have some some people that are cheering us on uh, from IPATH from UCSD. So yeah, so yeah. Mm -hmm. I, Oh, go uh, ahead. Actually, been looking into some of the personnel and research being done at UMS here in Arkansas, and I did find someone who th this is pretty much what their interest in is. is. Uh, I'm still trying to reach out to them, but there's a uh, PhD here whose focus is on uh, bacteriophage and agriculture. <laughs> Fantastic! That's really cool. This is this is not a huge area, so um, having somebody near you. 
that's into it is uh, is really good news. So I, I hope we can reach out and start meeting and and see where we can collaborate and support some some good R and D in this area. That's really good news. Let's see for, oh yeah, no, thank you. Keep it up uh, and uh, don't be discouraged about uh, hearing no or or not now or, you know, <laughs> yeah. you know uh, we will get lots of uh, rejections along the way and it, it just means that we're, that we're trying and each, each time that happens, we learn and, and, and get better. So, so it's, uh, you know, I, it's an opportunity for for growth. And AFGO is what we talk, what we call them. Um, yeah. So at DefCon, there is, as you know, because you've been, there is a um, sort of a biomedical uh, village. Yeah, the so, BHV. Yes. It's what it's where I normally spend my time at DefCon, and right. where I would likely be if uh, we were able to make it this year. Yeah. Hopefully, you'll be able to come next year and maybe even present. Uh, some work that'd be cool, um, yeah. but what I'm planning on doing is trying to get over there and to to reach out and just to let them know that we are uh, doing this sort of work and interested in in collaborating. They're they're a little overwhelmed with the preparation for putting on the village, uh, but what I'll do is I'll I'll hike over there and and make a contact and then um, try to get. To, Try, try to get a few names and and to get some conversations going about what they are uh, what they're seeing because they have a pretty good visibility into biohacking and I think this is this is uh, in that category for sure um, and I know that they're in the past they've done have had some fantastic presentations on very practical um, you know my, uh, microbiology lab work um, and so so what sorts of stuff that we want to do we're going to have to do some lab work and it's going to have to be pretty practical uh because you're dealing with actual you know fish and tanks and things like that yeah so we're that's... going to need a, our actual wet, uh, wet lab for the operations we want to do you bet so that's i'm hoping to be able to do that and and ha come back next week uh, so a week from today which is uh you know <laughs> a little bit daunting just one week from today hopeful to come back and be able to report back to you um you know some some feedback and some some successful contacts at uh, biohacking village awesome i i will be very excited to hear them okay so yeah if you need to if you haven't already responded to the how may I, how, how may we would re redirect your call uh <laughs> letter then please go ahead and take advantage of whatever offer for help we, we're getting I went ahead and and said, "Hey, can you can you send it?" Uh, I, I made a slight modification to our existing letter just to say, instead of asking from CF San, it was asking from CBER, and then going from there. And it's like, "Hey, yeah, can you send this slightly revised version that just replaces the name with the other one to the other one?" Good, right on. Okay, looking forward to hearing what we get back, and and we'll just keep working until we uh, get a breakthrough. And thank you so much for stepping up and and doing all this. It's uh. It's really appreciated. Good work. All right, let's close for the week and uh, see everybody if all goes well. See you next week with lots of news. Yep. See you all next week. All right. Thanks, James. Thank you.